one of the things you have to do with vectors a lot is uh, find the angle between them. So what I want to do is show you a way that you can uh, kind of make that task a little more automatic. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, first insert a new problem so that anything I stored before won't be in the way. Um, add a calculator screen. And um, so I know that uh, the angle between, I know how to calculate it. So what I'm going to do is define a function. So angle um, between. Uh, and it's going to be the angle between vector a and b. So it's going to take two vectors and uh, run them through the formula for us. So control, so set equal to. It's the inverse cosine. So hit the trig button, inverse cosine, get a fraction. Um, so it's going to be the dot product. Dot product of a and b over, and then it's the norm. So that's menu 7, 7. Enter of A times the norm menu 7, 7 of B. Um, and that's going to do it for us. So if I want the um, angle between, so let me, if I press var now, I can see that. The angle between um, 3, 4 and uh, 7, 9, let's say, and then uh, control enter. I'm in, uh, oh yeah. I'm in degree mode, okay, so the angle between them is not that big. Uh, what if I do 1, 1, and uh, 0, 9, let's see what I get there, uh, 45, which is what I'd expect because 1, 1 makes a 45 degree angle and 0, 9 is on the positive y-axis, uh, so it's giving us what we want, um, and that's basically how you do it. Uh, this idea obviously could be extended to other things. Um, for instance, if uh, finding the magnitude hadn't been built in, we could define a function uh, magnitude a, b, where a and b are the components of our vector. Uh, and that would have to be the square root, which you have a button for, of a squared plus b squared. And I'll say done. And now uh, in the bar, I have uh, that. And then 3, 2 gives me that. Um, I can check and see if uh, the norm of 3, 2 is the same. It is. Um, so that's just a useful thing. Uh, press to test mode would uh, disable your ability to use this function that you just uh, defined, but it wouldn't prevent you from defining it again once uh, you were in press to test mode. So that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about using this. You'll have to go through and redefine it, but it's worth it if you have to do it 15 times. Um, so. Good luck with that. Hope it's helpful.